Okay, welcome to the first video on vectors. This should be revision of your IGCSE work from last year, so hopefully it's things that you've seen before and we're just refreshing your memory today. So first things first, vectors have a magnitude and a direction. The magnitude is just another way of saying its size. So here we have this vector AB. This is a displacement vector, and what that means by it being a displacement vector, it is representing a movement from A to B. This is different to a position vector, which we'll come to later. Now this vector we can represent as AB with this arrow over the top of it. It could also be given a bold letter A if it's typed, or if it's handwritten, it might be a little A with this line underneath. So we can also use column vectors if we have measurements. So this vector here of AB, we're looking at how much it's moved from A to B and we look at it in the X and Y direction, X first, Y second, just like you would for coordinates, but you write them as a column instead. So this one has gone one to the right and three up. So it looks like this. Next one, we've got this vector represented by this bold A. This one has gone 1 to the right and 3 down, so we get 1 and minus 3 this time. Here we've got vector little handwritten B with the line underneath. This one's going 3 to the left and 5 down, so we get minus 3 minus 5. We'll do one more. This CD vector, that's gone 2 to the left and 6 down. So we get minus 2, minus 6. We can also talk about two vectors being equal. If they're equal, they will have the same magnitude and the same direction. But they could be in a different place. So we've got this vector here, AB and EF. Those two vectors are equal. Even though they're in different places, they've got the same magnitude and the same direction. So we call them equal vectors. We also get negative ones, and that reverses the direction of the vector. We can also multiply vectors by a scalar amount. So here we have our vector A, and then vector B, which is twice as long as A, so it's been multiplied by 2, and vector C, which is twice as long as A, but in the opposite direction. So we write these down as b equals 2a and c equals minus 2a. And since I'm handwriting these, they really should have those little lines underneath them. You also need to be able to find the modulus of a vector. That means its magnitude or length. We do this with Pythagoras. So say we're looking at that uh, vector c there and it's um, got 4 and 6 as its horizontal and vertical lengths. So we use Pythagoras on there, do the square root of 6 squared plus 4 squared to calculate that length of C. We can do addition of vectors. So we've got these two vectors A and B. If we do A plus B, it's the same as doing A followed by B. So we get this purple one here. It's also the same if you do it in the opposite order. So A plus B is the same as B plus A. If you do A then B, you get to the same destination point as if you do B then A. So what about if we do a subtraction? We need to think about that A minus B as being A plus negative B. So A followed by negative B. So that's what that looks like. So we've got A minus B there, which is also the same as if we'd done minus B plus A. And I just spotted that I missed a little arrow just there on that diagram, so I'll just put that in there for you now. Okay, and here is your questions to have a go at. I will put the answers to these on another video to follow, but I want you to have a go at these first without any answers. So pause the video here, leave this on your screen, 
and answer these on a piece of paper.